In the previous videos, we talked about the domain and data layers and worked on those layers. In this video we want to go to the presentation layer and create blocks, so stay with me. The first thing we do is create a folder called article in block. Now inside this we will create another folder named remote. Because later we will create another block to display the article from the database, which will be in the local folder. As you probably know, we should have three files in our block, event, state, and block files, so I create them. I want to start from the state file. Because many of you are familiar with block, I don't want to explain too much. As you know we have to define states here. The first thing we do is define a basic state that the rest of the states must extend. So, I define an abstract class called remote article state that extends equatable. Here we will have two parameters, a list of article entity and DO error. We will pass the list of articles when the request to the server is successful, and we will pass the DO error when the request to the server is not successful. I also define these parameters in the constructor. Using the props method in equatable, I determine that these two parameters are considered when comparing the states. We will have three states. The first case is that when we request the server and wait for the server to return the data, in this case we must show loading. So we have a state called remote articles loading. The next state will be when the data has been received and we have to display it. So we also define a state called remote articles done which must have a list of articles in its constructor. And the last case is when we have a problem in receiving data from the server and we have to display an error. Therefore, I will create a state called remote articles error which has DO error in the constructor. The definition of the states is completed, now we have to define the events. The definition of events is the same as the definition of states. First we define an abstract class named remote articles event. We will have only one event that we will call and receive data from the server. So we will define an event called get articles that extends remote articles event. Now we need to create the block class, because many of you are familiar with block. That's why I won't go into details and explain more deeply. The first thing we need to do is define a class called remote articles block that extends block. We must specify an initial state by passing it to the superclass via super. We can determine loading state as initial state. As you know we have to register the get article event. So, we create a method called on get articles that has the event and state in its input. Now we register the getArticles event in the event handler like this. Now we need to get the data from the server in the onGetArticles method using the getArticles use case, and then display them using the remote articles done state. So first we need to create an instance of getArticle use case that the constructor accepts. In the next video, we will register the getArticle use case class by injecting dependency in the constructor. Now in the onGetArticle method, we must call the getArticle use case. Did you know that in Dart a method named call can be run both by calling object.call and also by object? That's the perfect method to use in the use cases. So we call in this way and save the response returned by the call method in the data state. The return value is the data state, so we have to check if the data state is equal to success. And the data is not empty, we emit the remote articles done state. And we also pass the data. And if the data state is equal to data failed, we emit the remote articles error state and pass the error. The implementation of the block is finished. In the next video, we will go to dependency injection. So stay with me, and make sure to hit the subscribe button to get next video.